Your first 10,000 photographs are your worst. This is the famous quote by Henri Cartier-Bresson. He is to a certain extent the father of street photography and modern documentary photography too. Today we find out how valid this quote is. Especially in this age of digital photography, it is extremely hard to tell how much we've shot and how much each shot actually matters. Luckily for me, I started my photographic journey with a film camera, so quite literally, I get to physically count to my first 10,000 shots. Well, kind of. I say kind of because I'm not the most organized human being, so I haven't um, archived my film rolls in the number of you know rolls that I've shot. So in order to number the rolls of film that I've shot as much as possible, I'll be looking through one, my physical film archives, and if I don't know the order to them, then two, I'll be looking through the dates on the um, scan data on my computer. I did take a decent number of digital shots along the way too, but for the sake of this um, experiment, I'll be disregarding that number when I'm counting the 10,000 uh, shots. So according to my calculation here, approximately 277 36 exposure film rolls equate to 10,000 shots. What I'm thinking of doing for this experiment is to first of all just round up to the first 300 rolls because there's some rolls where I shot um, 24 exposures. So yeah, I'll just uh, keep that in mind. So the equation that we have right now is I will replace the first 10,000 photographs that I shot with the first um, 300 rolls of film that I've shot. Whew. Okay, now that I have my film scans um, organized in one folder in my computer, I'll be showing you um, my pictures along the way. So I've created folders with photographs um, from my first rolls, photographs from around my 50th roll, photographs from around my 100th roll, and in 50 roll increments until 300. I'll be showing you guys both good and bad photographs um, around that roll so that we can kind of understand where I stand in terms of how good of a photographer I was within that time. Now these are photographs from my first rule. I started off with a Contax T2. Uh, don't judge me, this was before it was super popular, I guess. And I had absolutely no idea what I was doing. I think the Contax T2 is just an amazing camera, so it kind of compensated for how terrible I was of a photographer has an amazing lens, has good autofocus, so yeah. But still, yeah, I had no idea what I was doing. So going on to around my 50th roll, yeah, I was taking a bunch of portraits here. What I noticed was that a lot of the features on the Contax T2 were automatic, so I wanted to learn more manual controls, which is why I got a SLR, the Nikon F3. And I was shooting a lot of um, black and white stuff, uh, with this camera I'm on a 50mm lens and again I was still taking a lot of portraits just taking people in studios and at home testing stuff out and as you can see I have some extremely underexposed photographs too this is because I didn't understand exposure too much and around my 100th roll this is where I went to Sydney I was there for about 5 days and I was taking photographs with my Contax T2 and my Nikon F3 and at this point I was shooting both black and white and color, but a lot of black and white. This pretty much marks the start of street photography for me. I was taking a lot of portraits until then, but this is when I started to understand how interesting street photography can be and how infinite the possibilities are on the streets. So these are, I guess, my early attempts at street photography. I remember some of the photos that I took here. At the time I thought they were so good. I was like, yes, I'm good, I can do this. And I look back and I mean, they're not bad, but they're not, you know, they're not amazing or anything. They're just, you know, they're photographs. But yeah, I was making all these attempts at creating a photograph because I just didn't know how they would turn out. You know, if you've taken enough photographs in your life, then you can kind of be like, yeah, I've been there, done that, this is gonna be a boring photo. But when you're starting out, you really don't have a grip on what photograph may come out and if it's gonna be a good photograph. Like now, if I was in the same scene, I wouldn't even bother to click the photo because I know that's not going to be a good photograph. And this is the 120th roll um, that I'm showing. I'm just showing this because 
this shows how my mindset has changed a bit and I shifted more and more towards street photography. And I think around these shots, I, you can tell that I'm starting to get a grip on what I should be photographing, what are interesting subjects, what interesting light is. But you can tell that still the composition and the framing and just everything's a little bit jumbled up. So from here, the count starts to get a little bit ambiguous. Let's just call it that. And this is around 100, my 150th to 170th roll. So actually from around here, I started scanning my own photographs. So the colors look a little bit nicer, I think. And the quality of the images look a little bit nicer. So that's a big difference. But I think from here, I'm starting to get more of a grip on what color photography can be what good color is, how to scan them, how to see them on the streets, accompanied with what interesting subjects are. But again, yes, I think in my opinion, the frame is still a little bit chaotic. And I think from a third person's perspective, it's hard to understand what I was trying to get at. I'd say some people like this style of photography, but for me, I think this is uh, still a little bit too uh, jumbled and unorganized. But you can definitely tell that I am making some improvements here. Also, this is when I started using the Contax G2, actually. I guess that also explains the big spike in uh, image quality too, because the lens on that camera is so nice. Okay, so roll 200. For roll 200, actually, I was in New York and Washington DC to take some photos. And I used about 20 rolls of film here, so I'm just gonna say like 200 to 220 ish. And for this, I only used the Contax G2. And I was really getting used to that camera at this point. But still, yeah, you can see that my framing is getting a little bit better. I'm trying to position subject in interesting ways and trying to isolate them as much as possible. I'm looking more into patterns, people's emotions colors. Yeah, you know what? And I think if I was like a hobbyist photographer, I'd be pretty happy with some of the images that I have here. I was also still shooting some black and white. I was gravitating more towards color at this point, but yeah, I still shot some black and white too. Okay, so we're coming some ways now. This is around my 250th roll. And from here, I apologize for changing cameras so much, but this is when I got my first ever Leica. Yay. Yeah, so I started using the Leica M6 from about here. Although it's hard to say for 100%, but I think I am looking more into things like weather and good light and how that affects photographs too. Before it was more, oh, how can I get an interesting subject in the photograph and testing new stuff out? I don't know, just that's just the general feeling I'm getting here. And finally, yes, we reach the 300th roll. I've put together some photos from about my 300th to 320th roll, just to make sense of the direction I had at this time for my photographs. Right now, looking at the photographs, yes, I feel like I'm seeing some interesting scenes, interesting subjects, and attempts at framing them well. And the photographs also come together with some good light. Um, exposure's fine. Colors are pretty good. Yeah, I also think I have some interesting shots here. And I still do take some portraits, just some. And at this point, I was basically shooting only the Leica M6 with a 35 millimeter lens and I was sticking to one film type too. And looking back at all of these, I guess it took me a good 1.5 years or so to shoot 300 rolls. So for me, my first 10,000 shots were shot um, around one to 1.5 years. Okay, so thanks for going through that with me. That was quite painful, wasn't it? So, the quote, your first 10,000 photographs are your worst. Is this true or is this false? My verdict is that, yes, of course it's true, because as long as you're still shooting, you're only gonna get better. You can sometimes get lucky or find interesting scenarios, 
even in your first days, but in terms of like consistency, yeah, obviously you're only gonna get better, right? And after looking through all my photographs there, what I noticed was that it took me about 300 rolls just to find a footing in photography or find my place within photography. Like what kind of photography am I interested in? Is it portraits, landscapes, street photography? I didn't know for a while, I think. And again, just because everything is very new to you when you start shooting, you like to shoot everything too, right? And also gear changes. It seems like I changed camera or lens lenses about four times during that 300 rule period too. And from what I know, it's pretty much impossible to build a good back catalog or archive of photographs with a bunch of different cameras or, or lenses. It's really hard. So yeah, at least to me, it seems like those first 10,000 shots were kind of like a platform to nourish my understanding of photography, what I want to do within that art form, and what I want to express as an artist, or even noticing that I wanted to be an artist. <laughs> Nevertheless, I do think I had a few decent shots, I think, but the terrible shots are terrible, and there are a lot of terrible shots. And as of now, I still do take terrible shots, but not as often as before, and they are ever so slightly less terrible than what we've seen. So yeah guys, that's a wrap. Thanks for watching this video. I hope it was like a slightly enjoyable experiment. I actually had some fun and it was good reflection time for me. Let me know what you guys thought of this video down in the comments section below. Please like this video and hopefully subscribe to my channel too. Please. 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 So yeah, again, thanks guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Let me know if you want to see more content like this and goodbye. Sayonara.